Hi, welcome to our importing and exporting tutorial. I'm Suzanne and I'm going to take you through the different imports and exports projectmanager.com offers. So we will cover the types of data that you can import and export from the system, how you would export your reports, and what that data will look like. When you create a new project and you want to enter your tasks, you get five options. You would have seen this in the creating a project tutorial, but the second option down is importing a task list. You'll see here that you can import Microsoft Project Files, Excel, OpenOffice, CSV, and text files. So you simply click on the Choose File icon, browse to the file location, click OK, and that will import your task list. Another easy way to import is to go to the big round menu button on the left and drop down to import. Here it brings up a box where again I would choose a file. You can import your file into the project you're in or create a new project while you're importing. You can choose to import all the data or simply a task list and then either replace the data that's in your project with the imported data or keep and append both sets of data. That's of course if you were in an existing project and you could simply import. You'll see the maximum file size for importing is 250 megs. You would have also seen in the menu button that there's an export function. So if you click there, it gives you the ability to export all the data from your project. You could pick a project and select the data that you want to export. So you'll see I can export my tasks, my task notes, my task comments, timesheets, projects, my workload information, holidays, my resource list, all of my expenses, risks, issues, and changes that I've created on the project, as well as my discussions. The file formats that I can export that data are via Microsoft Excel, Word, MS Project, XML file for task data only, or a CSV file. Just pick the columns you want reflected from a specific project by selecting the Setup icon under the Custom column, and you can export that data. We've also put export buttons throughout the system to make it very easy to get to. So if I go to my sample project, you can see there's an export icon as well as import on the edit menu and under each of these project areas. So if I went to my discussions tab, you see on the left hand side is the export button. It's a quick and easy way to export from that area of my project. Let's have a look now at reports. So we'll go to the All tab and select Reports. You'll see there are export buttons along the bottom. They are set to really how you want that information to be exported. I could choose to view it on screen, share it, have a PDF export format, as well as Excel and CSV. You can see with all of these project reports, you have various ways to export each of them. You can see down here, the icons change as I go through. Now, also under the All tab, I can go to the Workload Grid and click on the Export button on the right, and here I can choose to export all of my resources on all of my projects, their workload data, or I can cut this down. Perhaps I only want one project and I want to see one particular resource's information. I can change the date range there and the export format from Excel or CSV file. To make it easy for you, when you click that export button anywhere in the system, you'll see it's defaulted to export workload data because I'm in the workload tab, but I can use the drop down menu to change that to any of the other information that I can export. 
So from here, from the workload page, I could also export tasks or task notes if I wanted. And again, I can change that for resources and projects. So we've covered importing and exporting file formats and where to find all the little green export buttons. If you have any issues or problems importing or exporting files, let us know in the support team. We'd love to hear from you and we'll be happy to help. Thanks, I hope you'll join me on our next video, Risks, Issues, and Changes.